I started this job when I was 22 and I am not 22 anymore. <laughs> the journey that I've been on with Daenerys, it's sharpened me as an actor and because of the heights that she goes to, it's forced me to find them within myself. And so anytime anything good or bad happens, you put it into her. So Daenerys is a tapestry of my entire adult life. Within each major scene of Daenerys is every major scene of my life. Set. Oh my god, I fell off a fucking horse. <laughs> Jesus, this is my first job. This is like the first thing I ever did, and they stuck me on a horse. Oh, in a bamboo field in Belfast, and it's raining. I was falling off the horse trying to act still. Wow. A Khaleesi. Okay, <laughs> and I remember just being hanging on for dear. I mean, literally, I'm like hanging on like this, and I'm hanging on for dear life, and I just remember shouting. Please stop filming! And I'm like, okay, everything's gonna be fine. Turn around and I'm like, oh my god, there's like the whole crew. And I just cried. So that was my first day on Game of Thrones. That was it. That was, hey, mom, I had a really good day. I had more spine tingly, goosebump, joyful, punch the air, yay days on this show than anything in my life. It's the thing about Danny. Every season she gets better, every season there's something else bigger than the last season and better than the last season. Go ah! back, ladies! Season three, getting the Unsullied, was the first time that I, Amelia, got to be, you know, like, bitch and badass. Nige Daenerys Jel Masmo Hentar Gary Olentro. Dracaris. Uh, it was really cool. It rubs off on you as an actor, you just, you feel it. I have had to stand up and, and be Daenerys. In all of these moments, I've had to stand on that rock and speak to a lot of people in a crazy language. Hashiri Vajira Hashi Sandali! Hashiri Manhan! Fuck! Fucked up all of my Dothraki! It's been a challenge. But you just have to, like, you just have to grow a pair and do it. Leaving this show is leaving a part of me. The people are just gonna take Peter, gonna take Natalie, gonna take them all. How can I rule seven kingdoms if I can't control Slaver's Bay? Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. There's an ease that I get with acting with Ian Glenn because he's been my pal the whole time. There's been my one, my buddy. Shambles, John, and shambles. Ian was, is an incredible actor and he is an incredible mentor. He's just helped me as a person on a really real level. I'm gonna start to cry, this is ridiculous. This is always a safe space. We can have fun and we can take the piss out of each other and we can support each other and we can laugh at each other's jokes or we can laugh at each other's bad moods or we can, it's a family, it's an absolute family. There's no ego, there's no, we're in it together and I'm never going to get that again. The show, Game of Thrones, has set me free. It's literally given me my freedom as a human being and as an actor and as a woman. I've been able to play this incredibly strong woman when I could have very easily never thought of the places that I had to go to with her, the strength that I had to find to play her, and then seeing that I had that strength myself. And that's a really big deal. And these guys have taken care of me so much and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm really lucky I get to have it documented. <laughs> um, and I'll just be forever grateful to everyone who makes Game of Thrones for giving me something really special. If we go south to the land of the Lazarine, the landman will kill us and take your dragons. If we go west to the Dothraki Sea, the first Kalisar we meet will kill us and take your dragons. No one 
will take my dragons. The end of the last series was so dramatic with her and the birth of the dragons. The blood of my blood. That it's nice, the beginning of this series, we suddenly see them in a very, very contrasting place. Her situation is pretty desperate. Much to people's surprise would imagine you'd think the dragons would fix everything. Does it ever end? This is further east than I've ever been. But yes, Khaleesi, everything ends, even the red waste. So Koi Koi, her child died, Drogo, her beloved is dead, her brother is dead. The only relationship she can have is with her people. They are her everything. Daenerys has given Doria a life that she didn't think that she would be able to have. The Dothraki are now her, her people and her Kalasar. You must be their strength. And she feels a strong responsibility to, to look after them. Those that follow her have great faith in her and great belief in her. It's Sir Jorah, her Kalasar, but mainly her dragons. In her eyes, they really are her children. They're her most powerful weapon. They characterize her and they will grow to be incredibly fierce creatures. They're my babies and I think I know and I know that Danny knows that this is it. This is the only family that she has. There's been a huge mental shift for her. When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me and destroy those who have wronged me. She's altogether a stronger woman. It's not a kind of surfacey, I'm gonna take the throne because I want it. This is her destiny and she can't fight it. The only person that she can truly trust is herself. It's a pretty lonely path that she's going down. What's this? A royal pardon. Signed by Robert Baratheon. It's the piece of history that he was always afraid would catch up with him. Danny has been his life, you know, and he has complete belief and conviction, and as we've said, love for her. Jorah was the first face she saw when she stepped out of the fire. He was the last face she saw when he, she stepped into the fire in season one, and I think that that says it all, really. He has been there from her complete conception, as it were. He is the last remnants of her connection to where she's come from, which is enabling her to be who she is now. You betrayed me from the first. I've forgiven me. Another man. Please, Khaleesi. You sold my secrets to the man who killed my father and stole my you. brother's throne. Fought you want you. me Kill to forgive for you. you. To have finally trusted one person and to have finally got to a point where she feels that that is going to be it. He is going to be the only person she will ever trust and put her everything into and to have the only person to see all sides of her and to have that person have betrayed her from the first, I think that that kind of cuts her deeper than almost anything that's happened to her so far. So he's absolutely devastated, and I, I think he, he knows not where he's going. He's lost his raison d'etre, really, his reason to be. 